Igazság szolgálj. Ja, dat is dan wel wat ook. Thing is, 
All the bankers back home know that this is Karja land, and the Sun King can revoke those claims at any time. That's why he's desperate for the Magistrate to sign off on a concession decree. So the bristlebacks in the don't. You're a pig. Last time with those bristlebacks. They just showed up one day, rampaging around the valley like they exploded out of a forge. Lost some good people. But bless the bellows, you cleared them out and got this place working again. That put a dent in Olven's plans. Now, if only there was some way to smash them all together and run them out of town. But how could Bristlebacks and the Daunt help Olven? Two words. Concession decree. Since no one knows where the Bristlebacks came from, Olvind has taken to blaming the Karja for him. He's hoping to dig up enough old resentments to get a strike going until the concession's signed. This is just his latest attempt. He's been trying to rile up the workers since the day he rolled into town. About that, I think the Bristlebacks came out of Olvind's old mine. <gasps> now there's a spark that can light a fire. Can you prove it? I'm working on it. By the forge, grab my ear if you nail it down. Thought you'd be back in Freeheap. Well, after the big battle at Meridian, I went back. But realized it was running smooth. Didn't need me. Heard about the rebuilding out at Baron Light. Figured they could use another hammer. Been scraping by ever since. You could always leave. And go back east? Nah. I ain't willing to leave a lit forge. Besides, someone's gotta be a squeaky wheel for the workers around here. What else can you tell me about the Shadow Carger refugees? Well, they don't call themselves Shadow Carger for one. At least, not anymore. They're some other brand of sun crazed. But whatever side of the sun they're on, they're peaceful through and through. Don't seem to want for nothing except a place to live, pray, and just enough food to keep from starving. So they're just camped outside by a trail, blocking entry to a wrecked stormbird, waiting for what, exactly? Don't really know, but I'll tell you this. Should they ever wise up and salvage it, a Stormbird Heart is worth a lot. And if they get there first, then by all from law, it's theirs. Not that Toll and Queen Brokers ever lost sleep over any law-breaking. Who is this Toll and Queen Broker? Just some chuff-huffing pawnsman. Got a shop here in town. Lived in Chain Scrape since there was a Chain Scrape. He and Alvin go back a ways. Like a pair of coals in a campfire, those two. So Talon works for Olvin? Ha! <laughs> Olvin might think so. But Talon scrapes up his own scams. And he ain't the type to let a few refugees get between him and Stormbird Salvage. Okay, that's it. This concession decree, what is it exactly? And how would it help Olvin? It's big deal, that's what. A writ that would put all Osram claims in the Daunt under Osram law, even though they're on Karja land. It would mean that any existing ore, stone, and timber claims couldn't be revoked by the Karja. No more risk, no more hesitation for investors back in the claim to pour in the shards and expand their business. And since Olvind has a stake in all those claims, it would make him richer than a scrapper in a junk heap. Not to mention Chainscrape would become an Osram municipality. So he could buy enough votes to call himself an elder man. He's a sly old badger, I'll give him that. Figures if he keeps up the pressure, eventually the magistrate will sign. Well, from up that way, I'll talk to the refugees. Try to convince them to move. Much appreciated. They have it rough. Don't need Tallinn making it rougher. I trust that Tallinn has a show up here in Chainscrape.
Bell got the cars here. Never heard it put that way before. You won't. Heard you've been hassling refugees up by the cliffs. Yeah, well, you heard wrong. There's salvage up there. Stormbird. Nailed to myself with the harpoon here in town. Not an easy shot if I do say so myself. It clipped its wing. And it crashed into the old tower up there. Killed it quick. So if anyone's hassling anyone, it's the shadow cars of filth that's blocking the way up to my claim. And you're ready to crack some skulls to get to it? No need. It's a raggedy bunch. Probably all starved before I have to lift a finger. We'll see about that. Oh yeah, we will, won't we? And the shop's closed to cars of lovers. On your blasted way. Asshole. Yeah, one more quest all day. Okay, then two episodes of Cyclist now. Seems like bad looking like last time. You're welcome, Elvander. Okay, I see how.
take it away, Jason. Yeah, so much items Twilight 
to our new home. Savohar, you lead us there. Uh-huh. I never believe that. The priest, Savohar. He said he's been up there three days. His meditation can't be rushed. So he does this often? Meditating for days on end? Well, it doesn't usually take this long. But he will guide us through. He always has. We have faith, sure. But shelter looks like a more pressing concern. Look at yourselves. Those machines nearly wiped you out. And Osram thugs are watching you, just waiting to strike. You're in danger here. You need to grab Savohar and get out. Our situation. This is the worst we've endured. I know we cannot stay here, but without Savohar to guide us, I let me up there, and I'll convince him it's time to move on. But his meditation, if he hasn't received his vision, he won't follow. At least let me check on him. If he's been up there for days. Yes. Yes, that is sensible, I suppose. Please, be careful. The trail up to the tower is falling apart. Savalhar is strong, but it could not have been an easy climb. It rarely is. Let the Nora pass. Diamonds, 
special ones. I did not think it.
She's waiting below. And his answer is sunstroke and a prayer. Why does every priest I meet think blind faith is the answer to everything? Refugees probably want to get tall and I gotta get them out of here before he comes back. What? <sighs> there. The owner should be able to afford shelter with his heart. No food in a change of clothes wouldn't hurt either. Sabahar? How are you holding up? I have to get back over there. Cauldrons, huh? I wonder 
Bloodshed, that's on your conscience. Ain't it just like the car should have made things harder than they have to be? Okay, boys, you heard her. Get your consciences ready. Hold on now, Tolland. You can. Listen, I'm all out of patience here. I clipped that Stormbird's wings. The salvage is mine. I don't care who gets in my way. Nora Savages or Shadow Cars or Flea Bags. I'm taking it. You sure you want to do that, Talent? You know who I am. What makes you think a single officer on Lunkhead can take me down? I've got four guys. Huh? <laughs> ah, blast it! Okay. You win. Hey, I'm doing fine. I don't need that salvage anyhow. But these people need all the help they can get. Come on, boys. Back to chain scrape. I need a drink. Aloy, again, we thank you. You're welcome. Now take this heart. Use it to buy food, clothes, shelter for your people. Maybe even land to build a new home. And so much for just a heart. Several heart must make these decisions. No, I'm here. I'm sorry, Lakasha. Several isn't coming back. Is that? He's gone. I know it's hard. But your people need a leader now. Go to Chain Scrape. Talk to the Forge woman there, Petra. Give her the Stormbird heart. She'll look after you and your people until you can get back on your feet. Find your path. I'll do my best, Aloy. What choice do I have? Here, please accept this. It is modest, but I hope it helps in some small way. To chain scrape, then.
Yes. Yeah.